What's good, everybody? It's your boy B. Mahari here, representing Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Salute to the entire LDBC. Breaking news. Uh, British heavyweight uh, Dillian White uh, just confer- uh, just been, uh, been reported by a boxing scene that he failed his, uh, his uh, uh, drug test prior to his fight with Oscar Rebus about, uh, during the weekend, though, man. So... According to the report from Boxing Scene, um, he basically failed. Uh, he basically had about two banned substances in his system prior to his fight. Now, according to their boxing commission in the UK, he has a right to appeal the decision and and try to not face suspension. Though, but the bottom line is this: this is a guy that at so many opportunities to try to be the mandatory for the Wilder's WBC heavyweight championship belt, and then all of a sudden you turn around and decide to pop, decide to cheat. Right before a fight to decide the mandatory position. You know what? If I were Oscar Rebus right now, I would file a lawsuit against Dillian White and against Matchroom Boxing, knowing that they would cover this up for, for the, all this time and then all this and then now you decide to go ahead and cheat prior to your fight. And then we just recently a boxer this a Russian boxer died due to the same due to the same concussive blows due to bleeding bleeding to the head. So it really makes no sense why do why Dylan White should even be allowed to be the WBC mandatory. Even more important, why he shouldn't even be allowed in boxing. Honestly, all the boxers who basically fail drug tests though should be banned from the sport for life. This is a sport that you should not be messed around with. You know what I mean? But like I said before, we'll see what happens how how the appeal goes. I think Dylan White may just be suspended for about a year and probably lose his position with the WBC. In my opinion, but we'll see how it goes. But that's all I wanted to give you guys for now. We'll also, do a little bit of recap there, Dylan White. Uh, basically tested positive for PEDs for two different PEDs and it's a uh, mandatory uh, clean boxing uh, the drug test after the fight against Oscar Rebus. So we'll see what happens down the line. This is your boy B. Mahari here representing Mahari Nation Sports Podcast. Make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon to get all the little notifications. I will also go live every Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. Central Time to discuss basketball and all this boxing news. All right, y'all. Peace.